Thank you for joining me. Today we are going to go over what a My Expo user would experience while logged in to their My Expo profile. It's important to note that the show management team overseeing this event has the capacity to modify what this verbiage sets. So, you may see something other than My Expo, such as My Planner, Virtual Planner, My Exhibitors, or something branded by the show management team. The important thing to note is the consistency of the location, regardless of what the tool is called. Here, acting as the My Expo user, I will navigate to the URL I have bookmarked. And I'll just minimize my banner image here. Here on the floor plan, we see several exhibitors in my booth spaces. Some of them have booth wallpaper set up. And up here at the top, I see this icon to sign in. If I click on that, I am prompted to enter an email address and a password. If I don't already have a My Expo account, I can come down here to this link and use it to create an account. When I click on that link, all of these fields which are bold and include this little asterisk off to the left, those are going to be required fields established by the show management team overseeing this event. All of the other information is optional for you to fill out. And there is an indication here at the bottom from the show management team letting me know that the information I provide here will be made available to those companies I am adding to my My Expo list. I already have an account, so I'm going to cancel this and sign in to my account. As soon as I've signed into my My Expo account, you'll see that button no longer says Sign In, it says My Expo. And below that we have stars in the upper left corners of some companies I've already added to my My Expo list. If I want to take a look at the exhibitors in my My Expo list, I can use this My Expo button to navigate to that list. Here I have a few different buttons. This one will let me view or update my profile. This will let me print the list I already have. And this will let me view and add to that list. If we want to update the profile information we've already provided, we can click here and review the details I've already established. Any changes can be made. Just be sure to update your account before moving on. Next, we have this option to print your exhibitor list. This will display the exhibitors already added to your list and give you the option to print that list. Finally, the last option on here is the My Expo Center. Here we will see a minimized version of the floor plan with indicators over the booths I've already added to my expo. Below that we can see the exhibitor and profile information for each of the companies I've added to my expo. The companies added here do appear in alphanumeric order. Here at the bottom we have agenda items which can be added to your list with this button right here. Simply select the date, choose the time frame, and populate the field below with any reminder text you may need. To return to the floor plan, I can navigate to this Pages button here and click the Floor Plan tile here. If you would like to add an additional exhibitor to your My Expo list, Simply click on that exhibitor's booth number and click the icon here to add to My Expo. Once you've added them to My Expo, this option here to add notes becomes available. Here you have the ability to enter a note as a reminder for what you plan on discussing when you visit their booth. With that new exhibitor added, we can see the star in the upper left corner 
And if I return to my My Expo Center, I can see that that new exhibitor is now part of that list. From this list, I can click on any of my exhibitors to take a closer look at their profile. Finally, I always have the option to sign out from that My Expo button. Thank you for joining me, and please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions or issues you may have.